We're here at Glenridin on the shores of Ullswater and I'm joined by Charlie who is the race director. So the Pinnacle Ridge Extreme event, how did that event come to be and, and why did you develop it? Yeah, so I mean Pinnacle Ridge Extreme basically came out of the guts of Lake Sky Ultra. So as I said, you know, for the Lake Sky Ultra, we've got people who were trying to apply for it who didn't have the required skill set. And so I and also we had people who were, you know, the Lake Sky Ultra was known as a race of two halves, right? It was this highly technical at start and then it was sort of open trail running going on from here from Patterday. It was open trail running and, and really fast terrain moving around the Bramble side. So I just thought, you know, we've got to take this techie guts out of it and we're going to make a, a short, hard and fast sky race out of it, but that's got the rock climbing involved. So it's obviously in the name, it's an extreme race and you mentioned some pretty technical sections, some scrambling, climbing. Yeah. What are the requirements for people to actually enter this event? Yeah, so I mean, because Pinnacle Ridge is basically, I've, I've created a race that's 27k long and has 2,800 meters of hill climbing in it. So per k, it's 100 meters hill climbing, which is massive. Uh, and then involved in that as well, there are uh, four sections where you're going to be hands-on rock, sort of involved in rock climbing terrain. Uh, and so really, you know, the technicalities of it are going up brown curve crags, and you do something called summer step or step bridge, depending on which which sort of guide that you're looking at. Uh, you're doing striding and swirl ledge that, that are technical and they're involved in related to as well but they're not too much hands on rock. Uh, and then there's a section going through Eagle Crag dropping down into Brysdale and then coming back up you do Pinnacle Ridge. So, you know, so that's the actual top end part of it and, and that requires hands on rock, knowledge of rock climbing skills. So if you don't already possess some of these technical skills how can you actually you know, get into it and then be able to do an event like this? Yeah okay so I mean... <laughs> There's a few roads to get into doing something like the Pinnacle Ridge Extreme, uh, but you know, to develop those climbing skills, you either need to go to a climbing wall and do a climbing course, and then uh, once you've done your climbing wall course, go out and start climbing outside, doing it safely either with a guide or with friends, and, and developing that side of things. It's going to take you a, a year or two years at least to be able to get yourself into that position. Uh, other ways that you know that I would suggest is that I also run a company called Mountain Run. Mountain Run does uh, technical skills courses, so we do sky running weekends. We either do intro weekends that suit things like Scarfell or Lake Sky Ultra, or we do uh, advanced sky running weekends. And that really is built around the idea of doing Pinnacle Ridge Extreme, or as it used to be, as Lake Sky Ultra, where we take people over the course, we take them on the actual scrambles, we give them that skill set and, and give them that understanding. And we can vet people on route as well, so if somebody turns up and actually they seem like they've got the skill set already but they just wanted to check what they were doing, and we can personally vet them and make sure that they're okay to go into the race. But it's a bit of a journey that you need to do, but you know, bouldering as well is another nice way of, of gearing up for these things. And then going out yourself safely with friends or maybe you go out with a guide and, and just cover this type of terrain so that you understand that you can move from running into climbing and then back into running and then back into climbing. I guess that's the way you sort of get yourself up.